Booze and chat are the enemy of event program speakers. The level of audience rudeness, especially here in Japan, is gobsmacking. Japan is such a polite society with a couple of exceptions, and this is one of them. You may be the speaker or you may be the warm-up act. When you're in the MC role about to introduce the program speaker, avoid the charisma bypass problem of no presence in the room. I recently saw a giant of a man, fulsomely mustachioed, boasting a hulking frame, draw up to the microphone in a tiny, faint voice, try and call the assembled imbibing masses to order with zero impact. We need to do better than that. Welcome back to this weekly edition, every Tuesday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, and we are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Well, where is this cutting edge? For all of us, the quality of our people is the cutting edge for success in Japan. In this show, I will stimulate your thinking about ramping up your business, bring you insights from the best training organization on the planet, provide you with the highest quality Japan information, motivate you to motivate yourself and those around you, help you to shoot the lights out at results time. I don't want to help you just succeed. I want you to dominate. Before we get into this week's topic, here is what caught my attention lately. The Abe cabinet has been trying to attract foreign talent to Japan to make up for the population decline here. However, according to the 2017 IMD, World Talent Ranking Index, Japan ranked 51st out of 63 nations in appeal for highly skilled foreign workers. Jose Cobarero, senior economist at the IMD World Competitive Center, questioned, will the local workforce be enough to develop the technology they need? Well, Japan faces a shortage of workers in frontier IT areas such as big data, artificial intelligence, information security, and the Internet of Things. Japan ranked 27th globally in overall digital competitiveness. It ranked near the bottom for its use of big data and analytics in business decision making. The barriers to foreigners to come and work here included language, rigid business practices, insularity. Somehow, I don't see any of these obstacles giving away any time soon. This is episode number 14, and we are talking about how to speak to unruly alcohol fueled crowds. So let's get going. The master of ceremony goes to the microphone to get the program underway. But the audience are oblivious caught up in their own riveting conversations. The situation is much worse at receptions where alcohol is already flowing. And the people down the back are generating a jetliner roar that drowns out the speakers. Apart from bona fide members of the imperial family, everyone is fair game in the let's ignore the speaker states. Cabinet ministers, eminent leaders, famous personalities, all struggle to get the attention of the crowd. When it is our turn, what can we humble beings do, beings do about this? Here are some ideas that will shut down the noisy rabble and provide a proper platform for the speaker to be heard. 
make sure to turn off the background music well before you are ready to start. Surprisingly, this is often forgotten by the organizers. Speakers should not try to compete with irritating white noise in the background. So check this has been done before you are due to launch forth. Preferably, always have someone else introduce you. Their job is to quiet the room in preparation for your presentation. This doesn't always go according to plan, though, because you can be a lucky draw on who introduces you. Usually, they are not skilled speakers for themselves, and so they may do a very lame job at best introducing you. If you are in the MC role yourself, about to introduce the program speaker, avoid the charisma bypass problem of no presence in the room. I recently saw a giant of a man, fulsomely mustachioed, boasting a hulking frame, draw up to the microphone in a tiny, faint voice, try and call the assembled masses to order. He had absolutely no success. So even an imposing physical presence is no guarantee to cut through the clatter. On the other hand, if you worry about speaking behind high podiums and appearing to your audience as a stylish quaff just, just peeking above the waterline, always arrive early and have the event staff provide a small raised dais for you. We always want the audience to easily see our face. Even better, dismiss the podium altogether because now we can use our body language to maximum effect. As noted, voice projection is key for cutting through crowd noise. Today's microphone technology is very good, so you don't need to have a stentonian voice to be heard. However, placing the microphone too close to your mouth creates a dissonance, making it harder to hear. Mysteriously, some speakers have the microphone around the other way, the opposite problem, and they hold it too far down, too low, so there's almost no sound being heard. These errors are easily avoided if you just hold the microphone about a hand's spread in front of your mouth and speak across the top of the mesh of the microphone. Find out more hints when we come back from the break. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment, be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience. Everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the High Impact Presentations course now in either Japanese or English. Welcome back. When you face a challenging, noisy crowd, make sure to hit the first few words very hard. To get things going, start with a strong, ladies and gentlemen, with power invested in the first word. And remember to draw that first word out slightly. Ladies, elongate it for effect. Now include a small pause before a strong finish to the phrase. This will generally shut the room down and gather everyone's focus on the speaker. If it doesn't produce that hear a pin drop silence, then go again with strong voicing of the next phrase. May I have your attention, please? I've seen speakers using assorted cutlery to bang on a glass to create a chime that signals it is time to shut up everyone and listen. It works, however. One word of warning. Don't speak while pounding. Let the chime effect work for you. And when the peer pressure builds to a point where you have achieved silence, put the glass down, pause, and then start. Why pause? This builds anticipation and curiosity, both of which work in our favour when trying to get attention to what we are saying. Similarly, you can also use powerful music 
to drown out the crowd's babble and make them listen to what is coming next. Just a short piece will do as it signals action is about to commence and people will switch their gaze to you at the front of the room. After the music ends, again, use a slight pause and then start. We can't be effective communicators if people are not listening. So our first task is to quiet the room. Using these techniques will produce the right break in the chaos for your message to be heard. Keep pushing hard with us here at the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Subscribe on YouTube, share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching and remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, japan.dalecarnegie.com. It's an awesome value site. Go over there and check it out. In episode 15, we are talking about how to be likable and trustworthy in sales. Know, like and trust is the sales mantra. And if any of these three are missing, then no sale. So, okay, how do we yield likability and trust? Find out the answers to these questions and much, much more next week. So, yoroshiku, onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Until then, create seriously massive levels of success. We are here to help you do that. Dale Cunningham Training Japan has only one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.